Welcome back, Legends. I hope you're all amazing. We're going to be checking out the brand new sets and songs feature on the Axe FX3. I'm going to be using Axe Edit for all of this, purely for the reason that it is easier for me to take a screen capture of my Mac than it is to set up another camera to film the front panel because I'm fundamentally lazy. But all of this stuff will work from the front panel as well. I'm just going to show you how I've got a set list set up and the way I go about programming songs in here. But first, this is the main preset I'm going to be using. I've called it Ragdoll A. It's built around the USA lead mid gain. And this basically has all the sounds that I would need for a Ragdoll gig, like a big chunky sound. <laughs> And then there's a lead scene. There's actually a couple of lead scenes in here, but this is my main lead scene. Doing what you would expect there. I have a rhythmic delay scene. I have a scene with the rotary. I've got this really fun scene here, which uses a plex delay and a trem and a delay block to cop like the even tight undulator style sound. <laughs> I've also got another version of this preset, which basically takes some of those sounds and modifies them a little bit, like one scene, which I will demonstrate a little later, that uses a parametric EQ to kind of simulate a single coil pickup and a clean sound, a few things like that. Basically, the idea is I'm using slightly more than one preset for all of this. Let's come up to sets and songs, and you can have up to four set lists stored on your unit with 32 songs each. Each song has six sections in there. So for example, let's take this song right here, Shine. And for this particular song, I would need my main chunky sound. I would need a rhythmic delay. I would need a solo scene. And I need like an alternative solo scene for the outro section where Ryan is doing all this epic screaming. And I have to try and keep up with that. So you can see in the song sections, I have named section number one. I've called it the intro. And it is referencing preset 420 Ragdoll A, the preset that I just showed you before, and it is bringing up scene number one, that chunky scene. All right, what's cool about it is I can hit this button here and it will actually load up that particular section. So again, the chunky sound. All righty, the second part of the song is the verse, which I play with a rhythmic delay. So again, it's the same preset, but it is referencing scene three now. The third section is the chorus, which actually just goes back to the same sound as the intro, but because I know that part of the song is the chorus of the song and not as scene one preset 420, I can label it chorus and it is going to do all the thinking for me. Then I've got my solo, which goes to the lead scene and I've got the outro. I've only got five sections in here, but I've got the outro, which goes to lead two, which has a slightly different delay. I think it has a 2290 on there. And then I can just go through here and program all these songs. Look at all the different songs you can have programmed in here. I think there's 128 different slots in there. And I can just simply drag them and drop them where I need them out of this list of 32. For example, you know, you can see I've got a song called All I Want, then another one called Tell Me. Let's say I wanted to have Shine first. I could just drag it up here. And if I actually do that properly, it will swap it with all I want, or I can swap these two songs around and quickly reorder the set list. You can do this from the front panel as well. There is a move song feature on there, which is really, really nice. Let's take a look at another song though, because this one just uses one preset. So you've probably seen that thinking, well, what's the advantage over using scenes other than you've named everything chronologically? Let's bring up this preset here for a song called The World You Gave Us. I will demonstrate this one here, but you notice I've got my like, overflow preset, Ragdoll B in here. So the intro for this song starts with a very distinct rhythmic delay. I'll let you hear that in a little bit. And then I'm using the chunky sound from that second preset. But when we switch to the chorus, it goes back to my main preset. And you can then see I'm using this other main preset for all my sounds in the rest of the song. Another example might be, uh, let's see, follow the leader. I'm trying to remember which one. No, this one here, Playing God, actually uses a totally different preset built around the recto. And I've only got two sounds on there. So I have my main sound, this big slam and recto sound. And then I have 
have my big dirty lead scene on there, which is nice and cool. So that's how that particular song would work in the set. If I was going to do that, if I go back to a different song again, I can reference a different preset with different scenes. I can have combinations of presets in here, which is something I wouldn't use much of. I would much rather just have a dedicated preset per song, but some people really like being able to just cycle between different presets. Uh, it essentially works like a master organizing system for your axe effects. And another good way to do this would be as a way to reorder your presets or reorder your scenes if that is something that you want to keep track of. You can then go into the FC edit in here and I've actually set up a layout in here where you've got new FC controller commands on here. So you can set up song sections like I've done here. So just section one through to five and then you can have different set lists. So this is just referencing my main set list. I could increment through different set lists. I could have different set lists listed here. And then in here, I've got song increment. And the way I like to use it is to have the next song sitting right here, the previous song over here, and then to be able to go like plus two or plus three through the songs. There is a whole bunch of other functionality in here that I'm not going to cover right now. I actually want to give you some concrete examples on the FC controller to show you how this works. I'll give you a run through of how I've got my main set list set up at the moment. What I want to do is access my live set list layout. And I'm going to do that by pressing these two buttons on the side. That gets you to the master menu. And I'm going to select this one up here called Ragdoll, which is layout number seven. Then what I'm going to do is just hit this set list button up in the top. It's going to make the set list active and load the first song, which is called All I Want. And this one's pretty straightforward. I just have a main scene and then a solo scene. <laughs> straightforward. Now, the way I've got my top row of foot switches set up, basically this switch here is going to be the next song. But if for some reason we don't play that song in that order, I can skip two or three songs ahead or I can actually go back on the set list. So for example, if we're doing the gig and for whatever reason, it's like, no, we've changed our mind last minute. We're not going to do Tell Me, we're going to do this song right here, The World You Gave Us. This is going to load up a brand new song with different sections and it's actually accessing a different preset here. So this one is a very specific rhythmic delay for the start of this song. <laughs> That's the vintage digital type in front of the amp. I literally only run something like that for this one song. And then we're into the normal sections like verse, chorus. We've got a bridge which has this big kind of wobbly rotary thing. solo, then I could move on to the next song, which is Rewind Your Mind. And then I've got, rather than have to remember like name scenes, I've just got the sections because I'm far more familiar with the sections of these songs that I've written than I am with particular sounds. Uh, another fun example would be on the song Follow the Leader. This is referencing a different preset again. And there's a few fun things where like the main sound is basically what you've been hearing. <laughs> But that is on my secondary preset so that I can have like a parametric EQ to kind of do a pickup simulation. And this will give me like a faux strat sound. <laughs> the bridge probably uses a very similar sound. I've got the access to my main set list. I can go to the next song or I can skip up 
two or three songs in the set. I can even go back onto a song and then I've got the first five sections down here. The top right button for me is gonna go back to my main scenes layout and I've got a tap tempo in the bottom right because I like to tap in the tempo for a different song as they come up. That's personally how it works for me. So I'll give you a very quick little example playing through a few different sections of a few different ragdoll songs. That's how I'm using the new sets and songs anyway at the moment on this beta release. As always, you can get this from the Fractal Forum if you want to try it out and provide some feedback. If you've tried it out and you're digging it, let me know how you're using it and how you like it. I am always looking to pick up some new ideas in here and how you've got your main FC controller laid out to use this new songs and sets feature. It is a feature that people have been asking about for a long time, and it's really, really exciting to see it implemented. If you want to support my channel, there's links in the video description. Otherwise, have a great day, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.